Hello, everybody. So, the hair. Last week, oh, I did wonder, I don't know, do you know, I did a bit of a, a, a piggy, a piggy day. Um, you know, you always get the odd ignorant person, don't you? And I went out for a walk and I was coming back and I was thinking, do you know what? I'll do a test strip. I'll bleach a test strip um, for my hair and we'll see what colour we can get to. Now, I came back, I mixed the bleach up and I mixed far too much bleach up. So I was like, oh, knickers to it. I'll put it on. I'm just going to bleach it. It'll be fine. So I did four sections, back, back, front, front. No, that hasn't come off my head. <laughs> so, um, and I just put it on. Now, I, I put four, I did 14% developer. Last time I did um, something like 7% seven, 7%, and I left it on for a very long time. And I'm really glad I did that because I did feel that I kind of maintained as much health in the hair that I could. The reason why, I'm kind of bit recapping a bit here, the reason why I went for such a low developer is because A, there's a hairdresser on YouTube says she does that regularly. B, the Schwarzkopf video on YouTube says you can use a very low developer with their bleach. In the, the Blonde Me Seven Levels Clear Lightener and its corresponding cream developer. And on the, I think I've seen it written on the website that you can also use a very low developer with their bleach. And the other reason I use that, such a low developer, is because I've got very fine, lots, you know, medium density, fine curly hair. Now, I know people say the more hair you have, the stronger it is. Well, I don't think that, I, I, I can't get the physics of that. You know, if I've got a rope, I've got one of them, it's as strong as it is. If I've got 10 of them, does that make, when they all work together, but you're bleaching the individual hair shafts on their own. So I don't see how the one next to it helps it be stronger. Anyway, so, ever the scientist. Now, um, so basically, oh, right, just hold that thought. The first time I did a test strip with these, I did, so I dyed, I bought these off Amazon and they've kind of gone fuzzy, sat in the bathroom, hanging up. That's just, that's one there. Now, I dyed, I put my existing hair dye on here, which was salon hair dye. And I used a 20 volume to bleach it. I put one in foil on its own pardon me and then I did another one and I put it in foil and then I put a tea towel around it and I put it on top of a hot water bottle with just warm water in trying to kind of recreate a head now the one on the hot water bottle within about 20 minutes um, the hair itself all the bleach had puffed up inside the foil and I left it so that the air could get in and out um and the hair was like jelly and it, it was like a mush and the other one that was at room temperature in the foil just laid on the kitchen worktop um it kind of it was a really interesting experiment to do actually and the hair went so like i was testing my hair like that and you went you know all you did was hold it and it just literally pulled apart it was it was quite interesting actually um you don't know the history of these swatches so i was that's why i didn't want to put 20 percent on my fine hair so there you go that's why now so i thought so i thought i'll bleach it the issue i had um okay so i did kind of say one of my previous videos I think it's going to take another two bleaches. To be honest, I don't think I can get that colour out. I think that's it. I think that's as far as I can go. Which means I had to have a, a rethink about the plan ahead. So, as I've said before, let me just get the picture out. Oh, no! Blooming phone! Hang on. 
so that's what I'm aiming for light at the top dark at the bottom that's kind of got a bit of like um so she's got a kind of it's like a pearly color on the top and like a charcoal she's I think it looks like she's got an ombre and some highlights in there now that's that that's the plan that's always been the plan but how I'll get there which way am I gonna you know it's like which way you're gonna go to town you're gonna get the bus you're gonna go in the car so the idea was was to bleach this to get the orange out so then I could go grey grey proper grey charcoal grey now I do have some what I've got here they're all upside down I've got dark shadows and then six eight and a ten silver smock so that's my intention basically then I had hang on then I had misty mauve titanium and crystal clear demi permanent express toner now they're all demi permanent apart from the dark shadows which is permanent which is fine because i don't mind putting permanent down here which is where i want the dark shadows i know normally a lot of people do a shadow route but there's no point in having a shadow root because I've done this before. I've been here before. I've had platinum blonde hair before when I tried to, when I grew it out before, I just put platinum blonde on the top. And what happens is when my hair grows, the 7% of black hairs, very dark, very dark brown hair, seven, those 7% 7 of dark hairs grow through. And within about a week, I look like I've got fleas. So you have little black dots and they're all around you can see them so like the reason I got those kind of toners is I thought I'll tone the natural hair which is what you're looking at right now I'll tone the natural hair but leave my own natural color so it's going to be months months and months before I need to touch my roots so basically what happened the other night is I bleached the hair and um, I used 14% I left it on for an hour um i checked it every 10 minutes and i rinsed the bleach off i kind of did so i timed each section oh i felt like it was taking forever and i did i kind of sectioned it off thin sections pasted on the bleach got got it in the foils did each section timed each section washed it off pasted it with conditioner and then eventually when all of all quadrants had been done i got back in the shower and this time i shampooed and rinsed the whole lot and there was a massive splash of orange color in the water and my hair that I, I can only assume that all the cuticles must have been sticking right up and all the colors have, have still come out come out even though i've rinsed in my hair and no matter what I did, I couldn't get the, I couldn't, it just felt like I didn't dare let it dry out. I thought if I let this dry out, it's going to be like cotton candy. It felt horrendous. Now, I don't think I feel like I want to bleach this again. I don't, sorry, I'm trying to stay low enough. I'm too, I'm taller than the camera. So I'm kind of like trying to stand like this. So I had to put something on it. Didn't want... I didn't want to put the crystal clear on because I want to keep that and I bought the titanium and the pearl and all the other colors I bought the titanium because I want to use it to make my hair go gray and I knew that if I put the gray the titanium on my white natural hair it would turn my white hair gray that's what I bought it for I've got my head over the bathroom thinking hang on a minute so when I've been to the hairdressers and paid them £120 to tone my brassiness, they knew that the white hair at the top was going to be blue. They knew that. They just chose not to tell me because I knew that. I've watched a few videos on YouTube. I bought a toner. It's a level, it was a level eight toner on 10 virgin hair 
and I'm like, and I had a choice of shear out the toner, or I could have like put it on the orangey bits and then for like four minutes and then rubbed it through to the roots for just one minute. So if I knew that toner was going to take my virgin hair to grey, then hairdressers do. And I just think if they know that's going to turn that hair blue and they don't know about the crystal clear, they don't know about shearing it through and they can't tell the client they're going to go out of the hair salon with blue, ha blue hair. I just think that this is my last rant on this. I just think you're either A, being dishonest and you'll take £120 off somebody for toning their hair and you know they're going to walk out with blue hair, which I think is dishonest. Um, or they just, they haven't been keeping up with their skills. You can't tell me that, you know, I've only watched a few videos. So anyway, I'll let that go. I'll let that go now. Right, so... Um, As far as the grey hair dye, I'm just kind of thinking if I put, so I've got six, eight and a ten and a five. The dark shadows is a level five. So I'm thinking, will a level five charcoal grey turn this orange? Is it going to be brown grey or grey brown? <laughs> But anyway, um, so the idea is, is that's going to be charcoal. This grey on my head now, I absolutely love it. I love my white platinum better, but this is, I absolutely love this. So this will, it lasts for 50 washes. So the plan now is to let this grow. This is going to be the middle grey. When this gets further down my head, um, and I'm not bothered about it, like, you know, using it to tie up. I'm going to put some either level three brown black dye or the, the level five um, dark shadows. And then what I'll do is I'll merge the colours, the six, eight and the tens, all the way up the hair shaft and then finish with the titanium toner over the whole lot. That's kind of the plan. Um, I did buy ice gold and natural ice because I thought at some point I was kind of looking at this. I was thinking, well, that's kind of like the orangey yellow, isn't it? And I thought if I've got the natural ice and the ice gold, that can go on to the, the routage. And then I've got that yellow going into orange all along the hair shaft. And then when I put the grey on, blah, 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 blah. blah. But it's there if I need it. Um, when, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's going to be my first hairstyle. When that charcoal grows off and it gets chopped off, I'm going to have level 8 to 10 hair. Then I was thinking, can't wait, silver pearl and I've also got, I don't know whether you'd use the pearl toner or the mauve, but I've also got dusty lavender. So those are going to be good times, but I reckon that's a good year or so away. Um, the reason I have all these is because getting hold of this stuff at Sally's, it's like gold dust. You just can't, I don't know how hairdressers are going to open. I don't know what they're putting on the client's heads because I just, you can't get all of this stuff okay so let's have a little look right oh i did forget so sorry so after i bleached it and i was like i'm gonna have to put the toner on because i'm sure i've heard guy tang saying the the toners close the cuticles back up again so i put the toner on i just i didn't care about shearing it out i thought i don't care i just i've had enough i wasn't in the mood to do my hair in the first place. I should never have done my hair when I wasn't in the mood. It's the same with nails. If you're not in the mood, you don't get... For me personally, I've done my nails. I'm not in the mood. I make an absolute mess. So I shouldn't have done it. I should have done the test strip. But anyway, it is what it is. Now, um, in general, that stuff, 
makes my hair completely fly away hate it <gasps> so i did the toner and it did close all the cuticles and it did feel a lot better um the next day so i did the, all the conditioning treatment and things like that as you do and over the space of two days my hair seriously it was like cotton fluff it was it's horrible it was really horrible and i thought i'm just gonna have to tie it up use that i can't do short hair I, I like i like feminine long curly hair um i can't i don't do short hair it looks lovely on some people but i just don't want it for me um worst case scenario if my hair had fallen off my head i'd have done an annie lennox and i'd have rocked it i saw a girl in the shops once and her hair was amazing she had this sticky up she, was, she had kind of like a biker chick thing going on and she had this like black hair that was like it was like three four inches stuck off her head and the sides were shaved and it was a natural gray hair and she looked amazing so if all my hair had been destroyed in bleach that's why i've left my that's why i didn't do anything with it until I had three or four inches of hair at least that way i could go and look like that um, that woman in the shop she looked amazing so um what i did yesterday which has completely transformed my hair it really has still a little bit dry but i've got high hopes for it is this unbelievable i honestly couldn't believe how good this was so yesterday i put it on for the entire day i got up yesterday morning and my hair was just like cotton fluff i thought this is awful and i'd kind of styled it the day before normally when i style it i'll get a week out of it and the hair kind of it moves it all kind of slinks back together because it's all smooth and sleek um it's not quite there well it's not there yet it won't be there for a while i can feel the difference in the hair um so that was kind of like mm. i put this on yesterday morning just washed my hair slapped that on uh towel dried it slapped this on tied it up into well, tied it up put it up in a clip in a bun and left it till tea time what a difference and even today i can feel that difference today so yes so i would highly recommend that stuff right so that's everything i've kind of i've looked through i've got everything here you've seen the hairstyle that i'm going for i'll just give you a quick a quick look it's still a bit on the orange side but hey ho but i can't wait um i don't think i'm going to tack it with dye yet because Otherwise, I'm going to be back to where I started in kind of like Christmas, where I've got a little bit of dark hair. At the moment, when I let it down, I've got two or three inches of grey hair and the rest of it's orange. So if I go to put charcoal grey on that now, I'm back where I started with, a, you know, I need, I need another, I need six inches of grey hair to then do the charcoal at the bottom. Because I need two thirds and a third, basically um but yeah absolutely love this gray can't wait can't wait to be platinum blonde gray dusty lavender silver pearl you name it every six months i'll have a different color right so that's me done so it's gonna be a while i reckon before i do another hair video so i'll see you later bye